nobody ever thought that india would be developing its own 4g and 5g technology nobody ever thought nobody ever thought that india would be manufacturing its very very complex telecom equipment ah uh, difficult to see for you but you can check it out on youtube 180 km kmph 180 km per hour the train is running between kota and nagda and this is the glass of water there is no fevicol un- under it right <laughs> there is no fix it under it nobody could have ever thought that india would be able to design and manufacture a world class train equal to on the way to making its own bullet train anybody else would like to share the experience yeah food was okay the right quality thank you first time i'm <laughs> food is always a difficult thing <laughs> he always comes up with many nice solutions many nice innovations very uh, recently he had given this idea of a digital address that we will be a developed country india will be a developed country the new picture that you saw today in terms of this uh, 3d printed uh, post office building that's the spirit of india today that's the spirit with which our country is progressing today i can give you 10 examples nobody ever thought that india would be developing its own 4g and 5g technology nobody ever thought nobody ever thought that india would be manufacturing its very very complex telecom equipment nobody ever thought actually one of the industry veterans mr uh, sunil bharti mittal he mentioned that he has been in the telecom industry for about 35 years and never could he imagine that india would emerge as a manufacturer and develop developer of telecom technology nobody could have ever thought that india would be able to design and manufacture a world class train equal to on the way to making its own bullet train example after example sector after sector nobody could ever thought that india would be exporting howitzer guns the spirit of development the spirit of developing our own technology the spirit of doing something which the earlier uh, in the earlier times was considered as impossible that's the defining feature of these times that has been possible because the country has got a leadership which is decisive the country has a leader who thinks who has confidence in our people's capabilities i'll give the example of vande bharat when prime minister narendra modi ji he decided that yes we must have a our own world class train first thing that our people did was to go to every possible country to germany to japan to france and say that okay we'll bring this we'll import this technology no when they made the presentations to pm pm said no our engineers in bengaluru in hyderabad in chennai in pune they are designing for the world they are designing for the world <laughs> products that are designed using our brains are running the entire world why shouldn't we keep faith why shouldn't we have confidence in our own engineers why shouldn't we give this they give this responsibility to our own people let them design there will be iterations there will be version 1 version 2 version 3 fine but as we develop as we create technology we learn by on the way and we'll develop something which will be world class and will be lower in cost that's the thought process by which the vande bharat train was designed how many of you have had an opportunity to travel by it travel okay uh somebody from behind what's your experience sir with the beard entirely new experience give him a very big round of applause <laughs> any other experience anybody else would like to share the experience yeah food was okay the right quality thank you first time i'm <laughs> food is always a difficult thing <laughs> but the riding quality driving the quality of ride mm-hmm. 
Excellent. Give her a very big round of applause. Thought process was, the thought process when we designed this train was, we have to benchmark it with the best in the world. How do you benchmark it with the best in the world? 0 to 100 kmph, riding quality, sound level inside the train, acceleration, deceleration, all these things, ergonomics of the seats, these are the world-class features. So, if you take the best in the world, bullet train, Shinkansen of Japan, how much time does it take to reach from 0 to 100? 54 seconds. 54 seconds. Now imagine, these are large, these are not like car which can, you press the pedal and zoom. It will be, it's not like that, right? These are large vehicles, very large vehicles, 700, 800 tons, correct? So, Vande Bharat, any guess? 0 to 100, guess? Mm. Well, it is 54, I gave you the hint. <laughs> hmm? Any guess? Morning breakfast was poor, no? <laughs> or too much breakfast. <laughs> guess, 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 guess. It can be wrong. What is there? Hmm? Mm -hmm. 90. Hmm. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 52 seconds. 54, 52. Right? Which has better acceleration? Vande Bharat has better acceleration. Aeroplane, when you fly, the noise level inside an aeroplane, right? Any, how many of you are math guys here? Log, logarithmic scale, decibels. <laughs> LNT guys? Professor? <laughs> you raise it. <laughs> okay. So, the noise level inside Vande Bharat is 100 times less than the noise in an aeroplane. 100 times. 100 times. How many of you have seen that video where the train is running at 180 kmph and uh, we kept a glass of water on the driver's cabin like this? You have seen that video? What happens? What happens? The water doesn't even spill. The water doesn't even... It's there in my phone. If you haven't seen, do watch this. It will give you a lot of pride. It's a matter of pride for our country that our Prime Minister took the risk of developing a train. See, this is the, this is the video. Uh, difficult to see for you, but you can check it out on YouTube. 180 km, kmph, 180 kilometers per hour, the train is running between Kota and Nagda, and this is the glass of water, there is no fevicol un under it, right? <laughs> there is no fix it under it. It's a glass kept exactly the way it is kept here. And the water doesn't spill at all. That's the... I don't want to take the risk here. So that's the, that's the design accuracy. What's important is, for the generation which is going to be the decision makers when India is at 100 years of its independence. How many of you are in that generation? 35 minus, 35 years minus. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to decide what India is going to be when we are 100 years in century, century of our independence, right? When you guys become the key decision makers, CEOs of your companies, uh, ministers, right? in your own households, in your own families, the top person, deans, professors, right? By that time, India would have developed so many technologies. India would have taken this great leap forward that our Prime Minister is giving us this vision that we will be a developed country. India will be a developed country. But that will not happen automatically. That will not happen automatically. That will require tremendous amount of effort.
that will require tremendous amount of persistence, tremendous amount of innovation. This example of the post office is that kind of innovation. I congratulate CPMG Saab. He always comes up with many nice solutions, many nice innovations. Very uh, recently he had given this idea of a digital address, DAC. That idea came from Mr. Rajendra Kumar. That kind of ideation, that kind of initiative is something that will take our country forward. Always a pleasure to come to Bangalore, Bengaluru. <laughs> Somehow this city has so much energy, so much positivity, so much forward-looking character that I really, really enjoy coming to Bangalore. This city presents always a new picture of India. 